Welcome back. So what are the words bossy, emotional, judgy, and intense have in common? And they don't describe me. According to our next guest, they are words often used to undermine girls and women. But now, New York Times bestselling author Mina Harris, who you may also recognize as Vice President Kamala Harris's niece, is reclaiming those words and many others in a new children's book, A is for Ambitious. It's the follow-up to her book, Ambitious Girl. It explores a, a new way of viewing these words and how we talk to and about each other. And as we mark Women's History Month, Mina Harris is here to tell us all about it. Mina, thanks so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, so the concept of this book I find fascinating. It started out as a joke. So I want to know about how that joke came about and then when it got serious for you and said, I'm writing this. Yeah, so as you mentioned, it's a sequel to my uh, first book, which is Ambitious Girl. And that one is focused specifically on the word ambition and ambitious and how we as a society often use that word in, in harmful ways and uh, against women and girls. And as I was writing that book, promoting that book, I was joking that although it focused on that one specific word, surely I could rattle off a word for every letter of the alphabet that likewise are often used in different ways against uh, women than they are with men. And I was like, wait, that's actually a good idea. I should write that book. And so I did. And now it is this ABC book. A is for Ambitious, which just came out yesterday. And we're excited to read it. Uh, when you talk about words like bossy, there has been a movement of sorts over the last few years to so just stop using terms like that. But you're actually taking a different approach here, kind of reclaiming these words instead. Exactly. So spoiler alert, we are not banning bossy in my book. It's all about uh, understanding that, like many other words, I, again, I went through the whole alphabet and, and wrote many different words. It, you know, these are an opportunity for us to reclaim and redefine them on our own terms and not allow someone else to tell us what they mean. And it's really about deriving that inner confidence and power and teaching kids the power of language, but also our ability to redefine some of these terms that in society and our culture have been used against women and girls and to name that, but also to understand that uh, there's a great power in reclaiming them and, and, and redefining them however we choose. So I'm reclaiming bossy. That is, is not banned in my home. I consider myself bossy and there's many other words like that that I'm taking back up and, and using to lift myself up and hopefully young readers. Yeah, it's, it's a fascinating thought because I have a daughter and a son as well. And you get me now thinking about how when they were little, I was speaking to them in words I used. You have two daughters yourself. Do you ever I catch do. yourself saying something to them and thinking, I don't know, I wouldn't say yeah, that yeah, to my absolutely. son? Absolutely. Yeah, so I have a five-year-old and a seven, almost seven-year-old. And becoming an author and writing these books that really are about focusing on the power of language, I've become much more aware of the language I use in my own home. And it's to the point that so much of this has, you know, sort of permeated all aspects of our lives. It's internalized, right? The things that we say, how we talk about ourselves uh, and, and how that impacts our children. And I've become much more aware of that um, in terms of, you know, how I use certain words, the tone behind it, uh, even just things around how I may talk about my hair or my weight or right other things that we know kids are, are watching and absorbing and understanding that something as small as language and tone can have a real impact and really empowering them to, to know that and also to you know to think about what they derive power from and, and to really reclaim that for themselves. Yeah, it's so important. I think language and tone are huge, especially when you're speaking to your children. Mina Harris, thank you so much. A is for ambitious is out now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.